I would like the people to feel inspired, you know, and it's like, oh wow, something like this came out of Bridgeport. Like, what else can come out of Bridgeport? My name is Josh. I was born in Westchester County, New York, in Valhalla, New York, and I ended up moving to Connecticut when I was a kid. And since then, I've been in Bridgeport for almost all my life. I work by day as a project manager for a painting company, and outside of that, I handle my own business as a mural artist. So the name of the piece is First in Flight, and it is inspired by Gustav Whitehead. What most people don't know is that Gustav Whitehead was a resident of Bridgeport back in like the early 1900s. And in 1901, I believe, he ended up flying the first plane. I believe it was from Jennings Beach to Seaside. And there's a whole controversy based on him and the Wright brothers about who flew first. I like history. So being a part of this and being a part of a town that actually raised me, like, you know, like, trying to bring up the history, trying to bring up an important fact. So people actually know like, yeah, we are, this happened in Bridgeport, like something amazing happened here, you know? And it was inspired by another artist, the way he did his piece. I love the idea of putting the blueprints on the sky, along with trying to combine the clouds and everything. Like, okay, he's in the sky, he's flying. He, he, he obviously didn't fly that high like in the atmosphere, but like he flew, you know? Combining all that into one piece. It's pretty much the details, getting the details of the plane in there so people understand what it is. Like at one point in time, people were saying, oh, is that a satellite? I'm like, no, it's not a satellite, it's a plane, <laughs> you know? Surprisingly enough, the idea first came to me when the call came out. And I just, I honestly drove by all the spots as soon as the call came out. And for some reason, I was really attracted to that wall and the idea because I like history. I was just, I just sat there for a second along the road. I was trying to think of how to balance everything out. And that's, that's when I thought about it. Okay, let's make him in the, look like he's in the sky with a blue pencil all around, you know. Public art is, is important to me because it's, it brings beauty to the space. Like there's like, you go to some towns and it's just all bare walls, like some factories aren't even open or like some workspaces aren't even open. And to me, just like adding that little splash of paint somewhere like really brings out the environment. It could be like something colorful, it could be something like inspirational, like anything, a picture of a person, um, a picture of a landscape, anything like that. Like. It'll, it just brings beauty to the environment around it, making people want to spend time in there, making people want to walk around and check everything, discover parts of Bridgeport that people don't know about, even if it's like a small little quarter. The ideal downtown, I would say more artwork just scattered throughout everywhere, more Bridgeport-based artists doing the work. That, that would be nice for me. I would love to see that more. More small businesses coming in because there is a lot of space for retail right now, at least from what I see. More events catered to the small businesses, even though they already do that with like Louis and Green. But yeah, no, that's that's I feel like that's what I see. Like I already love what they're doing with skateboard. I think skateboard is freaking awesome. I would love to see more more projects like that pop up. Like um, I, to me, there's like a lot of space in downtown that isn't being utilized. So I feel like. There's more potential, more potential for growth, more potential for atmosphere. Yeah, things like that.